In this video, I will be making potassium bromate from potassium bromide by electrolysis method. So over here in this 50 ml beaker, I have 25 gram of potassium bromide, which I will be dissolving in minimum amount, amount of water that is around 50 ml. So I added 50 ml of distilled water and then stirred this solution to completely dissolve the potassium bromide. Then I took my graphite electrodes and placed them in a card and placed the card over the beaker. I connected the electrodes to my 18 watt mobile charger. Then I switched on the current and on the right is the cathode and on the left is the anode. On the right hydrogen gas is being involved and on the left you can see some yellow stream is being formed. This is bromine. What is happening here is there are four kind of ions in this solution. Potassium ions, bromide ions, hydroxide ions and H plus ions. So due to low reduction potential of H plus ion, the H plus ions are getting reduced on the cathode and on the anode due to low oxidation potential of bromide the bromide ions are getting oxidized to bromine now as a byproduct potassium hydroxide is being formed in the reaction and the bromine then reacts with potassium bromide to form potassium hypobromide as you can see here bromine is formed and it settles in the bottom due to high density when i stir the solution the orange color of bromine disappears because it reacts with potassium hydroxide which is formed in this reaction to form potassium hypobromide. Now as the concentration of potassium hypobromide will increase, the potassium hypobromide will disproportionate into potassium bromate and potassium bromide. And the, due to lower solubility of potassium bromate in cold water, the potassium bromate will settle in the bottom of the solution. You can see here after 12 hours, three layers are formed. Lower one is the potassium bromate layer, upper one is the bromine layer and above layer is without the bromine. After two days, I saw no more bromine getting evolved at the anode. So I thought that the reaction was over. No more potassium bromide was left. So I took out the electrodes. So I transferred all the contents of the small beaker into a large 250 ml beaker and added enough water which could dissolve all this potassium bromate on heating the solution. Then I started heating the solution with stirring and I kept on adding water when I thought I need to add water to dissolve all the potassium bromate. I had to add around 100 ml of water and then I filtered the solution hot by gravity filtration so the on cooling potassium bromate crystal started to form inside the filtrate this is time lapse video so i took the conical flask and transferred all the filtrate into a beaker and then kept i kept the beaker inside the freezer so that the crystals are formed inside the beaker and not in the conical flask because it, it is easy to take out the crystals from the beaker rather than the conical flask so on cooling the solution inside the freezer these are the crystals of potassium bromate formed and I filtered them using a Buchner funnel on vacuum filtration. The beaker and the precipitate were washed with cold distilled water. The crystals were transferred onto a petri dish they were dried in a desiccator. The yield of the crystals after drying came around 22.2 grams then I took the filtrate and concentrated it from uh, around 100 ml to 25 ml and on cooling some small amount of crystals were formed inside the beaker I also filtered them using vacuum filtration and dried them in a desiccator and this yield came around to be 1.4 gram that become the total of 23.6 grams that corresponds to a percentage yield of 67.4%. Only 16.85 gram of potassium bromide was consumed in this reaction. On evaporating the filtrate to dryness, 
I got only 2.4 gram of potassium bromide or you can say any solid I got. So the question is where did the 5.75 gram of potassium bromide go? I upload videos every Tuesday so subscribe to my channel. If you like my work you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.